Hello guys, you're watching Played Right, and today I'm gonna show you how to play Siege Storm by Awakened Realms. Siege Storm is a two-player collectible card game where you do whatever you can to bring the pain to your opponent. You and your enemy clash against each other in a brutal battle in this area, the battleground. It consists of one resources bar for you and one for your opponent, one war track for you and one for your opponent, the middle, the support zone and the casualties piled for each player. One of the players gets Seraphia deck, which is an army full of elves that specialize in the arts of protection and healing. The other player plays with Tixia, a legion of destruction and pure evil that has many abilities, enforcing the enemy to discard cards, freezing his track line and other dark forces. You win the game simply if your opponent runs out of resource cards. To start, both players set their frontline cards and the no one's land card in the center of the battleground. For your first games, it's better to divide the cards of each deck and use only the ones with the green symbol on the bottom edge of the cards and leave the white ones out. Once you get confident with the rules, you can use the full deck. Now each player draws four cards from their decks as their starting hand and takes three piles of 10 cards each, arranges them in a vertical way and sets aside any remaining cards as they're out of the game. These three vertical piles are your resources bar from which you're going to be drawing cards and also paying the damage your opponent caused you by taking an amount of cards equal to the damage and placing them to your casualties pile. You start with the top resources bar and you move down once it's depleted. The casualties pile is over here and you stack all the discarded cards, which are your fallen soldiers. Make sure to leave some space for one more column between the middle and the two resource bars because over here you will have your war track and the opponent on the other side. Here you will place any creature you would like to deploy during the battle. Every creature starts in the deployment zone of the track, here at the bottom, and moves up each turn until it reaches the top, where it can be ordered to do things, about which we're gonna talk in a bit. You can only place one creature at a time on each slot. And over here is your support, which you will start populating with cards that will help you pay the costs of the cards you're playing and any activated abilities. So the setup is ready, let's have a look at the cards. All cards have creatures on them and they have this layout. On the top right is the cost to play the card. Here is the action of the card, the passive ability that may or may not have a cost to be used, the creature's attack strength, the creature's defense strength and the rarity of the card. Starting with the least rare, you have the soldier, the veteran, the elite and the champion and it's important to notice them if you are planning on expanding your armies with additional factions or promotional cards. Now to play a card from your hand, you need to discard a number of cards equal to its cost and put them in your casualties pile. To pay for costs, you can also use the cards of your support zone. There are two ways to play a card, either as an action or as a creature. If you play the card as an action, you resolve the ability described on the action part of the card and place it in your casualties pile. If you use it as a creature, you put it in the deployment zone, provided that the deployment zone is currently empty. In general, when a creature is in your war track, its passive ability will be enabled and if there is no cost to it, it will be activated for as long as it stays on the track. If there is a cost for the passive ability, you can activate it any amount of times during its presence on the track, as long as you can afford to pay the cost. When your creature reaches the top slot of the track, it's ready to participate in the battle. When you move your track again and the creature is pushed up, then you take it and immediately issue one of the following three orders, storm, hall ground or support. If you choose the storm, then you can perform the action of the creature and possibly deal damage to your opponent. If the opponent has a creature occupying his deployment zone, you subtract its defense from your attack strength. If the value of your attack is higher, 
Then with your remaining attack value, you can pick a target. You can either go for causing damage to your opponent or you can target the creature on his front line or on no man's land. You again compare your remaining attack value to the defense value of the creature and if your attack is higher, you kill it. After storming, your creature goes to the casualties pile. If you choose to hold ground, you can place the creature on your front line or on the no man's land. This allows you to keep having your creature's passive ability enabled. And your third option is to support. You place your creature on your support zone face down and once per turn you may use it to pay costs by tilting it to the side. Now you consider it committed and you subtract one from the cost of the card or the ability you're paying. So now you know everything you need to know to start playing. You and your opponent take alternating turns and each turn you follow these steps. Prepare, draw, move your track and deploy a unit. So starting with the preparation, you turn back up any committed units you might have in your support zone. Then you draw two cards from the top pile of your resources bar. By the way, the first player of the first turn does not draw any cards in this step. Then for the move your track step, all creatures on your track move up one space. If you had a creature at the top of your track and it moved up, you must immediately order it to storm, hold ground or support. Last, if your deployment zone is empty, you may play a creature and put it there. And of course, you may play actions from your hand or activate any passive abilities of your creatures at any point during your turn or your opponent's turn. And you keep playing in alternating turns until one of you runs out of resource cards. And that was Siege Storm. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the game.